he wanted to go and mess around and couldn't keep his thing in his pants. Point blank, period. He was being a dog, and I wasn't having it. Everyone, please welcome Kayla to the show. And Kayla joins us from Harrison, Arkansas. So take a look at this picture of Kayla's ex-boyfriend, Jeffrey, when he was about four months old. And also now take a look at a photo of Kayla's eight-month-old daughter, Braylon. You see, Kayla says, when you put these two pictures side by side, it's crystal clear that Jeffrey is Braylon's father. However, Jeffrey and his mother, Julie, say that a severe infection made Jeffrey sterile, so there's no way he can be the dad. So, Kayla, with that in mind, how sure are you that Jeffrey's the father? Hi, Maury. Yes, I'm a thousand percent sure Jeffrey is Braylon's father. There is no doubt in my mind. Have you heard this story about Jeffrey being sterile? Maury, I've heard it a thousand and thousand times again. A lot of his family members, and especially Julia, has told me that Jeffrey would never have kids, and I really didn't believe it. But here we are today to settle everything. Apparently, Jeffrey had what was considered to be a, a very strong case of, uh, I don't know what they call it. They call it a, like a blue waffle STD. <laughs> it's like gonorrhea on steroids, and he can't have kids. You don't believe that? No, I don't. Not for one minute. I, I believe that they're twins. I, I see it in the ears, the eyes, when she smiles. There there's no doubt in my mind. So let's go back. All right? You and Jeffrey were together around the time you got pregnant, right? Yes. And, Me and, and Jeffrey were living together at the time I conceived our daughter. And what was his reaction when you told him you were pregnant? He was excited, Maury. He posted Baby Car 2020 on the way. We, he told the whole world. We announced it to everybody. He was over, overwhelmed with excitement, never thought that he could have kids, and I was going to be the first one that gave him his child. If you were so happy, what the hell happened? Maury, there was a lot of history between me and Jeffrey, and Jeffrey had a girlfriend when me and Jeffrey got together, and we were all living under the same roof. You got a pledge from Jeffrey that he would not mess with his ex-girlfriend while Mom he was, was with you, right? right? And then you found right. out that he did. Is that right? Right. I, but the we dates were don't all add up. Together. The dates don't add up. More but it doesn't matter, Julie. Up. Like, she looks just like him. You they, you guys can't sit here and say one minute that matter. she is when and a not baby's conceived, When a baby's conceived and not conceived does matter. Okay? The person has to be there on that day, or they can't be the one that did it. Okay, okay. but he was living with me at the house, and he was over there messing with his girlfriend. How does that make sense? I was due in June. I we you got guys pregnant. You didn't get in your own own place until you were already pregnant. October. So if he was happy when you were pregnant, and, and then uh, you found out that he was still hooking up with his ex girlfriend, and you all broke up, right? Right. Well, was he still there for your pregnancy and the baby? No, he wasn't, Maury. Um, he put me in a situation. I had no money. I could not afford this house. So I went back to my hometown in California, and that's when I met my husband, and we got married. And when did Jeffrey start to deny that he was the father? Jeffrey started denying um, wait a second. that he was the father. Kayla. I stayed in contact with Kayla. Kayla and Jeffrey were not able to be applicable, but we FaceTimed, we messengered. I stayed on top of the pregnancy. And Jeffrey still played both sides of the story. He was sitting here messaging me, I want to be there, I want to be there, come back home, I'll change, we'll get married. Well, and I was already with you. my husband. But eventually you did go to Arkansas, didn't you? Yes, I came back to Arkansas in October after my daughter was already born. And me and Julie still stayed really close contact and I tried to keep it neutral with Jeffrey and it just didn't work. You must not have been absolutely sure that Jeffrey was the father because you tested two other people. Yes, I tested two other people. Once when my daughter was first born, and then but in that two whole time you're later. testing that other person, you're telling me Jeffrey's the dad. Jeffrey's the dad, and um, you sent me newborn pictures of Braylon. I asked you what did you. But you're not the only one. I sent newborn pictures too. I sent them to the other mom too. <laughs> there you go, Maury. Wow.
When were you absolutely 1,000% sure that Jeffrey was the father? After you tested the other guys? After I tested the other guys, Julie started sending me baby pictures of Jeffrey. And I knew right then. I saw the ears, the, the facial structure, his eye color. They're twins. Jeffrey, you're 31 years old. Do you have any children? No. No, sir. Okay. And you think that the reason you do not have any children is because of what happened when you got that infection. Yes, I got an infection. I was working roofing with uh, my mom's boyfriend's dad at the time, and we were putting down uh, a new type of tar roof, and it had gotten all over my pants, and it started out as a burn that I just thought was... Why are you lying, Jeffrey? You cannot and get an STD from a burn. It. You okay. were there and you were the doctor. But common sense, common sense, you're not going to get an STD from a burn from lane roofing. Who no. Said, who, who said STD? Jeffrey, you told our producer that Kayla is a better novelist than Stephen King. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> if you ask the woman the same question more than once, two, three different ways, the story always changes. The story's changed here. Like what? You know what I mean? Like one how? Minute, like how? One minute it's oh she went back to Cali because I left. Maury, I was working two jobs right here in Harrison, Arkansas. You weren't the working. Italian... You were not working. He I thought you and your girlfriend. He, was no, he, was not. he got fired yes, Halloween. He, he got fired Halloween because he had an option: work or take and... my daughter to the doctor. And he chose to take my daughter to the doctor. And. He wanted to go and mess around and couldn't keep his thing in his pants. Point blank, period. He was being a dog, and I wasn't having it. Okay, uh, Julie, why do you think your son is sterile? Well, in 2010, Jeffrey came into my bedroom and said that something was wrong in his private area and that I needed to rush him to the hospital. So I rushed him to the hospital. There was an infection that they'd have to keep him 24 hours in the hospital to give him... Um, IV antibiotics, and um, the next day when I returned, you know, I'm meeting with the doctor, asking him, and he told me that Jeffy would never give me grandchildren, that he was sterile. It'll be proven today that he is Braylon's father. There's no way that he had blue waffle or whatever you guys want to call it. When you found out that Kayla tested another man, what'd you think, Julie? Well, I mean, I, I was just upset by your, your messaging me and, you know, and wanting me to be a part of this pregnancy. I mean, I didn't even know about the two other people she was messaging. I knew about one, not two. And then when I asked what the child's name is, and she says Braylon Russell, and I'm like, well, who is Russell? This name's never even come up. This is a brand new name. So now there's a new guy with a new last name, and he's the one on the birth certificate, but you're still swearing to me that you're a thousand percent that my, you know, son's the father. But what well, difference does it... it make who's on the birth certificate? She needed a dad, and Jeffrey wasn't stepping up at the time. So why you didn't I have the be right a to dad put... 2,500 miles apart? You can, it there doesn't matter. Is... You could have kept in contact. He could have still we called. We did he keep still in been... contact with you. Jeffrey didn't. You did, yes. But Jeffrey you and didn't. Jeffrey Jeffrey's were a grown man. Your issues. Julie. But I've always played the middleman. Julie. Yes. Apparently, you've bonded with that little baby. I have. I have. You we think, both have. You think Braylon looks like Jeffrey? Well, like I told your show, I mean, I do, but then I, I question myself and say, you know, when you find out that your son won't give you any grandchildren and then this girl pops up and says, this could be your grandchild, am I seeing things because I want her to be my grandchild so bad or is she his? And I appreciate what Kayla did. Don't don't take this wrong. You know, she did uproot her life in California and bring Braylon so that if she is my grandchild, we could bond and get through the holidays. And that that was nice of her. But your family apparently is all divided over this. Two oh, yeah. Halloweens this year, two Thanksgivings, two Christmases. Yeah, where are we gonna have it? Who's gonna get along with who? It was fun, life changing. Okay. Well, I've got the answer right now. We're going to find out. All right, Julie? Okay? Okay. Here we go. In the case of eight-month-old Braylon, Jeffrey, you are the father. Yay! Well, I told you! I told you, Jeffrey! I told you! 
You are not the fuck. <laughs>